now let's draw the graph for this one, right? MSB, MSC. You can see the two curves up there. Now let's make a few assumptions. Let's assume that MPC equals the MSC, right? Marginal private cost equals to the marginal social cost. Now this is a necessary assumption in order to really see the effects of positive externalities in this market, right? Under MPB and MSB, let's make the initial assumption without the consideration of the external benefit that MPB equals to MSB, right? That's what I would be seeing as a private individual. I'm not seeing the external benefit. And under these conditions, I would consume at Q0, right? Where MSB, or rather my MPB equals to MPC, right? Now let's bring in the external benefit. Let's say from the society's point of view, we were to see the external benefit. That would actually shift the MSB, the social benefit, up. And because of that, now we see two different curves. The MPB, that's basically what I see as an individual, and the MSB, what society sees. Right? And as soon as, you, as soon as you see these two curves, you can see that there's a difference between the quantity consumed by me as an individual and the quantity consumed by, or rather the socially optimal amount of education that should be consumed right, in order to benefit society and, and, and what society deems to be the best for it. Right? As an individual, probably I either don't know about the external benefit or maybe I just don't care about the external benefit and therefore I consume only at Q0 and this is an underconsumption of education when instead I should be consuming at Q1.